Can you believe I've never done a 24 hour art challenge before? Well, that's exactly what we're gonna do. I'm gonna attempt to fill this book in just 24 hours. This is an art advent sketchbook. I've never heard of something like this before, but I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm popping my name on the line. There are 25 pages with 25 prompts to get you all excited for Christmas. Though it's a little bit early, so we're not gonna be making them too Christmassy. First, we need to grab every single art supply that we're gonna be using in this book. Prioritizing drawing supplies because I don't think paint is gonna work very well. And I'd love to stick in some papers too. Okay, I think we're all ready. I'll see you tomorrow very early. Okay, it's not super early, but it's pitch black, so it really feels like it. I am tired, we need to make a tea, and then we can get started. I have a box of broken biscuits that we're gonna be having for breakfast. And honestly, it did take me about 20 minutes to wake up before we're actually getting going, but we're ready, here we go. Let's start the stopwatch. The first prompt is to draw the season. Use the weather to inspire you. What colours does this season bring? Decorate this page with paint, pens, pencil, or even create a collage. So, I'm gonna keep this prompt really simple. I'm reaching for my Artex acrylic markers and we are, we're keeping it super simple, okay? We are drawing some clouds. Clouds are my comfort zone. I did them for the very first page in the Create This Book too. I'm not saying I do them well, but they are my comfort zone. They are easy, they're fun, you can do whatever colours you like and make them a little bit surreal. And that's what we're doing here. It's going to be one busy day, we're creating a lot of art using a lot of different mediums and subjects and styles. So I felt it was important to keep the first page nice and simple. A little bit of colour pencil and this page is all done. Let's move on to the second prompt which is decorate this bauble. Use patterns to complete this bauble. Use doodles and shapes and even add color. Since we're in autumn, this is an autumn inspired bauble. Alcohol markers and gold, a lot of fun. This book was created by my friend Cassie from the Cassie Project. We've actually already done a collab you might have seen. She sent me this cute little box that I decorated with spirals and I sent her a cute little deer that she decapitated. So yeah, you might, you might have seen that. Well, Cassie has just released this book and I've popped the link down below so you can get one yourself. It's an advent sketchbook and it's designed to be used like an advent calendar. So you start on the 1st of December all the way up to Christmas day. And because there's a different prompt on each page, it encourages you to create art, which is perfect for the Christmas season. But of course, I'm planning to complete this whole book in just 24 hours. So let's race through. Not gonna lie, I kind of thought the sun would have risen by now. No, it's still pitch black out there. Illustrate a recipe. I think I might use alcohol markers for this one. The reference is this photo I took at Toby's Carvery and yes, this is just how much gravy I put on my plate. So we're gonna need a brown and some carrots because we are drawing a roast. Let's start with the plate first. Sorry about this shadow. I was really hoping that the sun would rise, but it hasn't. This doesn't look like a great color for a plate. It's not as light as I thought it would be. I honestly never draw food. But I've got a little, oh, that's very bright. There's that little carrot. Then this is the Yorkshire pudding. This yellow for the potatoes. I think all of this is potato actually. I think I'm gonna use raw umber for the stuffing actually because that's quite a bit darker. This is an abstract roast dinner, okay? It's giving illusion, it's giving mystery. 
Maybe it does need some lines. And maybe we need to write what it is. Just in case. This one took a lot longer, but I was enjoying it. And I think it turned out kind of cute. We have light and a little bit of sun. And this is where we're at. Oh, should I use these next? Some mild liners. Maybe gray? Um, pink maybe? We need to make a list. Take your shopping list, Christmas food shop, gifts, or something mundane and create illustrations to make it more fun. I actually recently went on holiday to visit some friends, so for this one, I wanted to reference that. I'm using the mild liners and attempting to draw the Burj Khalifa in a loose style because I went to Dubai. And I'm sticking in some receipts from the trip. I don't expect these to last very long because they're probably formal labels, but they are perfect for this prompt. Picking out some matching washi tapes to make this page look a little bit more cute. It's kind of a pink and grey themed page. And honestly, this turned out a lot better than I ever thought it would. I think it's a really cute spread. We're just adding some lines for the background because I felt like it needed something to kind of tie the page together. And this is how the prompt has turned out. Next up is making art through music. Play some Christmas music and let it inspire you. Now, because this one literally says play some Christmas music, I felt like we had to make it a little bit Christmassy, even though it's November. Inspired by the song Let It Snow, I decided to draw a cute little snowman, but this one is made up of shapes. It's kind of inspired by the pixel art that I did for Peach Tober. That's the idea that I had in mind for this one. The pixel art was a lot of fun to do, so I decided to make this particular snowman out of diamonds and hexagons and octagons, and I think it's kind of cute. This one was quite quick. We need to have some quick pieces if we're going to complete the entire book in one day. Also, these markers were a lot of fun. Flipping over the page to work on the next prompt, abstract patterns. Add shapes to this page that overlap one another and then in each section add patterns. You could use swirls, snowflakes, dots, lines. I mean this prompt is pretty self-explanatory and it could have looked very similar to the last one, but I had a different idea in mind. Something that I used to do a lot as a child was draw random lines on a page and fill in the gaps. Honestly, I don't know why, but it brought me so much joy as a child, so that's what I wanted to do for this prompt. But there was a discovery. I used the oil-based metallic markers for the lines, and it turns out they actually form a little bit of a resistance with the alcohol markers. It picked up a tiny bit of glitter, but honestly, the perfect line. It was the perfect line. It didn't bleed at all. And filling in the gaps was so easy because it formed a resistance. Finally, the sun is out. Which means we can use the top camera a bit more. It kind of freaks out in the dark. So hopefully that wasn't too distracting. This is where we're at. Three, four, five, six pages. And this was the most recent one. Next we've got... Ooh, it's the first coloring page. There's actually quite a few of these, which means we're gonna be able to speed things up, I think, a little bit.
It's just past three hours. And for this next one, I actually have a reference photo. I took this at some castle ruins and that's what we're gonna be using. But we have used alcohol markers a lot, but I think it might work for this scene. So let's give it a go. Now, I'm not gonna lie, the last coloring page actually took a lot longer than I was ever expecting. So this one we need to work a little bit faster for. We're using a limited color palette and some alcohol markers and trying to draw that cute little scene that I showed you. I don't know if this one really worked at all, to be honest. I tried to make the edges a little bit abstract, but I don't think it really pulled the piece together. I think this piece is just missing some depth. Maybe I should have gone in with some darker shades to add a little bit more contrast. Use color. Fill this page with red and green objects and or characters. Okay, if it was December, I would think of a Christmas tree and some baubles and a wreath. But because it's November, I thought of Mario and Luigi. So we're reaching for the acrylic markers and attempting to draw Mario and Luigi in my art style super quickly. This one was a little bit of a disaster because none of the pens were shaken beforehand and the brown just exploded right over Mario's face. And I don't really know what that was about. Nothing was primed and I think that's why it didn't really work. Some of the pens were super juicy, some of them didn't have very much juice at all. And I don't think this was the art supply to attempt to use quickly. These are the SimTap ones, so they have to be activated beforehand. But you know what? There's a lot of likeness there. And I think Mario and Luigi turned out pretty cute. The next prompt is to collect words. Practice your writing skills by filling this page with beautiful fonts and calligraphy. You could choose words inspired by Christmas. Remember, you can always use references to help you. For this page, I have a loose pencil drawing underneath and I'm attempting to fill the page with a load of nonsense, writing down whatever words come to mind, but following the sketch. Honestly, I don't know if this one worked. I feel like you can kind of loosely see that there's a landscape there. But what do you think? Let me know down below. Can you see the landscape for this piece? Moving on to mindless doodles. Fill this page with mindless doodles. Let Christmas inspire you and then add shapes and patterns to fill the page. Try not to leave any empty spaces. We are going to be doing literally just that. I'm reaching for any paper that includes winter themes or words. And originally I was planning to do doodles and scribbles on top of this. Because I've picked pages that already have words words on them. I feel like that's really not needed. It's just a fun little collage. And I really enjoyed putting this piece together. Also, I'd like to apologize if my voice sounds a little bit funny. I've actually been ill for a week now and I've been really putting off doing any voiceovers because of it. But unfortunately, it's been going on for a little bit too long now, so I need to get on with it. I'm trying my best to sound okay, but I'm sorry if it bothers you. Next up, we've got a simple coloring page. So I'm reaching for the Timu water-based markers. These are a little bit patchy, but it was quite nice to not have to think for a while. Resident of a mansion With halls I'd never mention And rooms that I don't think I've ever seen Skeletons in the closet With shirts I haven't worn yet And clothes I've worn since I was 17 Close the door and bolt it shut Cause you're and on this page, we have an empty jar that we need to pop something inside. Honestly, I think Cassie's done a fantastic job with this book. There's so many different ways that she's used the prompts that I would never think of. Providing part of an idea so that you just have to fill in the gaps is such a great way to create if you're feeling any kind of art block. So I had a lot of fun with this prompt. I don't know if you can tell, but we actually added the fairy from Shrek. That's what I thought of when I saw this prompt. It was the fairy trapped in a jar from Shrek. And I attempted to draw with zebra mild liners again. I know they're not really drawing supplies, but I kind of thought it would be fun. Same with the brush marker and highlighter. I don't know, I guess I just like making it difficult for myself. <sighs> okay, 13 pages 
page is done, which means we're over halfway now. And so far it's taken six hours, which I think means we're on track. I mean, there's 25 prompts, there's 25 pages. So each page needed to be less than an hour and we're currently on like half an hour a page which I'm gonna take, I think that's pretty good. Should we go back to alcohol markers and get started on 14? We've got what's your favorite snack, but Christmas related. So I'm gonna be doing a Maltesers and a Galaxy Caramel. They are my favorites in the celebrations tub. Let's do this. Honestly, I chose the Celebrations box just because I feel like they are the most iconic Christmas chocolate box. And these are my favorites, but what are your favorites in those boxes? Another close second was Galaxy, but I felt like I couldn't actually have two. <laughs> Unfortunately though, the Maltesers is pretty much the same color as the Celebrations box. So that would have meant using the exact same red shade. So we had to make this one a little bit darker, but I think it kind of works. I think it's kind of recognizable. Next, we need to make bookmarks. Honestly, this is such a cute idea. If a child had this book and then created little bookmarks to give to family and friends, that is such a cute concept, I love it. Unfortunately, I don't really have any friends or family, so we're just making a fun piece of art. Doing a little bit of negative space with alcohol markers, but it was kind of a disaster because I couldn't make anything blend. I haven't quite figured out, still, how to blend alcohol markers. I'll get there, I'll get there eventually. So I added random abstract lines to hide how bad the blend was. The next prompt is still life and I'm thinking of keeping it simple. So how's about we draw this? With, I mean, I could try this. I've not used this yet. Which one is this? Ooh, a quick lunch break before going in with this sketch. That honestly was a lot of fun and I feel like it really breaks up this book with a nice little monochromatic drawing. This page is filled with various circles and we need to color in the circles. For this prompt, I thought of fairy lights, you know, like those kind of bauble fairy lights that you can get at Christmas time. That's what I thought of. But we're making them nice and colorful. So I reached for some nice fun alcohol markers, purples, blues, greens, pinks, and attempted to show that they were glowing, that they were lights. I really don't know if this actually comes across. I think the yellow on the outside helps show this, but the middle bit doesn't really look like a light at all. And that is the little bauble fairy lights done. I don't know, I think we're doing all right. We're doing okay, right? It's currently 2.38, eight hours. So let's move on to the next one. The next prompt is create a cozy blanket. I actually have a really fun idea for this one. Hopefully it'll work. We're gonna stick in some paper. The concept for this idea is we're trying to create a quilt. So grabbing various fun pieces of paper, crazy patterns, because it doesn't really matter. It doesn't need to look realistic. And we need nine of these weird little squares so that we can stick them in and make them look a little bit like patchwork. The idea is that there'll be a white border in between each of them. And then we can grab the acrylic markers and do a little bit of a pattern on top. 
But honestly, this didn't really go to plan. It was a lot of fun, but it doesn't look like a blanket. This page is a really fun idea. We've got half a drawing and we need to finish it off. There's three hanging shelves. We've got a kind of elf, a plant and a picture frame. So to finish off this drawing, I'm adding a cute little teddy bear that I didn't use a reference for and you can really tell. A pencil pot, a paintbrush pot, some books, some more books, another picture frame and a clock. And honestly this page would have looked a lot better if I used the right size fine liner. Unfortunately the only one I could find was my Winsor & Newton one, which is like a size one. And that was far too chunky. I should have used a much finer nib and then this probably could have looked a lot better. And I'm colouring everything in using highlighters and water-based markers. The next page is kind of similar. We have half a cupcake and we need to decorate the cake. I'm reaching for the acrylic markers because I feel like that's the only thing that's going to kind of cover up these black lines. That's the only problem with this design because I knew that I wanted to add icing. It had to be able to cover up the lines so it has to be acrylic markers. I do think it actually worked pretty well though. Adding a cherry on top and some really random colours for the icing. Okay this is a fun super extra cake with lots of sprinkles and I probably went far too overboard because some of these colours are not looking appetising at all. Adding some random sprinkles to the background and this page is all complete. Now we need to roll the dice to decide our next piece. We got five, two, and one, which is pastel cute food. It's difficult to come up with a food that's kind of seen as cute. I think pancakes are kind of cute. And as far as pastel goes, I'm not gonna lie, I completely forgot that it needed to be pastel. I drew the sketch and then I drew the pancakes and I completely forgot about pastel being a thing. We haven't gone super dark, but we haven't gone pastel. And it's not really that cute either. But honestly, it kind of looks like pancakes. So I'm gonna take it. I don't know what the random green blobs are for. I guess it was limited color palette and that's what I decided to do. I don't know, here's how it turned out. Now we have to design a Christmas jumper. I'm reaching for a limited color palette. We're gonna keep this one nice and simple. I get so depressive and can't get out of bed when I hear you in the kitchen cause you you have more to say about all your thoughts and worries surrounding my condition. So this is supposed to be like tiny pieces of tinsel, but I don't know if it really works. Well, anyway, next up is this. We're drawing a portrait, the first one. Well, actually, I guess we did Mario and Luigi. Do they count? I guess they do. Also, I don't know if you can tell, it's getting a little bit dark now. Five o'clock. I suppose that makes sense. The prompt is a bundle of gifts. Fill this page with boxes, presents and gifts. Let this page be abundant with ribbons and colour. And whilst we haven't exactly done that, I mean there are ribbons and there are colour so it loosely follows this prompt. Honestly, I just wanted to try and draw a portrait. Unfortunately, I'm not very good with alcohol markers so the portrait is patchy as anything. But you know what, I still think this is my favourite so far. I've actually only been drawing portraits for a couple of years now, but they are my favourite things to draw. I don't know why, I just find them a lot of fun and I like being able to create characters. Whilst this piece is mostly alcohol marker, I'm actually reaching for the acrylics to try and add in some highlights and a little bit of gold for jewellery. I honestly think this page has turned out so cute. I really hope you like it. Well, that was one of the longest prompts so far and it's getting dark again. Moving on, bring life to an object by giving it an expression. For example, choose a household item or a food or a vehicle and humanize it with facial features. Can you guess what we're drawing? Can you guess, should I tell you? Maybe I'll let you guess. You can see, can you see? This was actually my partner's idea. I'm attempting to humanize a toaster. 
So the nose is the handle that goes up and down. Obviously the eyes and mouth don't need to be there, but the bread kind of looks like ears and I think this one looks pretty cute. It kind of reminds me of like a rabbit or something. I don't know, can you see the vision? Does it look like a toaster? We're actually getting so close to finishing now. This is the second to last prompt. And moving on to the final prompt, what's your goal? What do you want more of this year? Honestly, there really isn't much left of this year, but my goal is to create. I would like to keep creating art and creating videos for as long as I possibly can. I've always loved creating, I've always loved photography, and being able to combine both of those things fills me with joy. I would love to do this for as long as I possibly can, and I appreciate all of your support so much. Oh, I did not realise how dark it was. Sorry, I only had the one light on. We did it. We finished the entire book. Ah. Oh. Ooh. 12 hours and 13. Oh, we can stop it. 12 hours and 13 minutes. We filled 25 pages with art in 12 hours. It's not even seven. So I have an evening, we did it. I think my favorite page is this one. Let me know down below, what one is your favorite? Thank you for joining me today. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.